Hola. Hola. Bienvenidos a Lightspeed Spanish. Bienvenidos. This is a podcast for beginners. And the question comes from James. Hola, James. Hola, James. James specifically put in the message, I am a long time listener. Entonces, Guay. muchísimas gracias, gracias, James, por habernos escuchado tanto tiempo. <laughs> bueno, y habernos visto. También, también. también. A, a long time listener, long time viewer también, ¿no? Supongo. Sí. I guess. Sí, yeah. sí. Uh, and James has asked us to talk about the verb topar. And obviously topar. we've got toparse, topar. Entonces, vamos a hablar de eso en la segunda parte. Cynthia, you've done some investigation into Topard, haven't you? I've well, done probably some all of your life, really. You've been investigating <laughs> it all, all of your life. There are two verbs, topar and toparse. Yeah. So, what what does topar mean? Uh, topar is to to crash into something. To crash or, or to, to bump run, or to bump, bump into, into something, something like a, a physical interaction. Yeah. Is, like, it, is it similar to chocar? Yeah. Si, ah. si, si. Does it, chocar. it? If you if you think about topar, contra, no, or con. What's the preposition? Contra or con. Contra con. And then chocar contra o con, yeah? Sí. Does it give you a different image when you think of chocar against topar? No, I'd say it's the same. More or less But the same. It's more common in Spain to say chocar. Chocar, yeah, definitely. Chocar. Definitely, that's mm -hmm. the one I hear. So topar, bump into something, run into something, crash against something, sí. yeah? So could you give us some sentences that would uh, uh, give us an example of that? Um, el ciclista topó... Contra el camión. Ah. ¿Qué? Nada. Yo. <laughs> estaba hablando de mí. <laughs> Cuando era joven. When I was younger, I did. I was so fixed on watching the speedometer. I was fixed. I had to stick. I had to be at a certain speed. I watched my speedometer. I looked up and. In a, in a, That's OCD, eh? I know. No, it's obsession. But not OCD. Okay. I, I'm hysterical. I'm not obsessive. Right. So. Uh, you're hysterical, you're obsessive. Okay, I'm hysterical, she's obsessive. Entonces, ¿cómo se dice...? But not hysterical, as in funny. <laughs> Gordon, you're hysterical, but not in the funny way. <laughs> bueno, entonces, el, el ciclista... El ciclista topó... topó contra el camión mm -hmm. que estaba delante. Y puedes decir, topó con... ¿El camión? Topó con el camión. Sí. También. Sí. ¿no? Vale. Y luego tenemos toparse. Toparse. Oh, sorry, wrong language. We're, we're for beginners, aren't we? Toparse. So that goes with contra and con as well, doesn't it? Mm, toparse. Yeah. I mean, if you mean in the physical way that you crash, uh -huh. then it will be contra, like the other one. Okay. Because we can use both. We could use topar. Con, contra, toparse as well, I've heard. And it's crash, yeah? Uh -huh. like, or bump, like physically. Okay. Or run into. Um, but then if, you, if we use toparse in the way of to bump into someone that you see, like you see someone, not uh -huh. that you bump into someone, sure. but like you... The expression, oh, I bumped into a friend. Yes. That kind of bumping into you've seen them. him, yeah, you've seen him or her. Then it would be toparse, con. Con. Yeah, not no contra. contra. Not contra. Contra you... against, yeah, it yeah. would be against, yeah. All right. Contra so, is against. Against, yeah. So against the wall, against yeah. the car, against, but not against a friend. That exactly. I've seen, you know, so it would be with. So, toparse con is that what we say bump into. We use the preposition into and, and the Spanish use it with, with. Yes. Yeah? Toparse. So what about a sentence like that? Give us a, a sentence. like what? Like with toparse um, con. Me topé con, con tu exnovio, por mm. ejemplo. Ajá. O, oh, like, a, ¿sabes con quién ¿Sabes me con topé? quién me topé el otro día? Me topé con tu ex. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ajá, ok. Um, is there another way of, of saying that? Could you say me encontré con? Uh, 
¿A quién vi? ¿Sabes a quién vi el otro día? Ah. Mm -hmm. Who I saw. That would be the most common one. Yeah. No encontrarse. Me encontré con... Me encontré such such. a... ¿Sabes a quién me encontré? Ok. Me encontré a tu ex. En... Right. Would that me be encontré you... con tu ex. Because that one... Is like a meeting up? Could be meeting up. Right. I mean, me encontré con él. Could be meeting up. Right. So it's a bit confusing. Eh, me Dangerous encontré... if you're actually meeting up with somebody's ex. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. Me encontré con tu ex. But you can also say me encontré con tu ex, eh, meaning I saw him. Yeah. It's like if you say I saw him, it could be that you <laughs> agreed to, to see him. Yeah. Or that you just like by accident. No? In so for clarity. I saw your ex yesterday. Yeah. Could it's be better to say. Eh, quedé con. Quedé con is definitely you is agree to meet. Clear that you agree like, to meet. I arranged a meeting. Or yeah. I arranged a get together with. Exactly. And yeah. toparse con to actually bump into somebody. Yes. Yeah. And then that's clear then. Especially yes. if it's exes. I mean, just. Or you, know. you can use the verb ver. Ah. Vi a. I saw. Which is the most common one. Vi a tu ex ayer en el centro comercial, mm. en el shopping center. Question for you, Cynthia. Yes. Is the verb topar linked with the animal, el topo? I don't think so. No? I don't think topos se topan. I mean, maybe, because they're blind, no? And they go like, bum, <laughs> bum, bum. Maybe. Uh, but... A, a topo is a, um, is a, what's it called in English? Mole? A mole. A mole. Honestly. That happens sometimes. <laughs> it <they>? happens. <laughs> yes. Well, maybe because, yeah. So the only explanation would be they're blind, they don't know where they're going. And the, the topad. Yeah, uh, maybe. Se topan maybe, yeah. contra. El topo se topa. <laughs> I don't know. I don't mm. think so. But it's a good way of remembering the animal sure, and yeah, yeah. bumping into. So we've got, if you. Typically with uh, topad se con, you're going to have to use it in the past on you you know when you're telling somebody yeah, well, I bumped you can't into say me toparé con él yeah unless you're planning to bump it into someone exactly so I you're guess. typically going to have to use that in the past me topé con yes yeah do you know what a topos is no uh, for example fabric a topos means with like uh, dots little dots on yeah ah okay You've never heard that? No, no, I haven't. I don't know what you say in English, like with dots. Spotted. Spotted, maybe. Spotted. There might be another word for it. That might be better than spotted. Yeah, but in the in the famous words of uh, La Suegra de Cynthia, my English is going down the drain. <sighs> my English. <laughs> polka dot. Oh, polka dots. Yeah. Yeah. There's a song about that. Polka dot. Mm -hmm. And un topo is a spy, yeah, somebody that you've, you've planted. Oh, of course, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, a mole, well, we call mole. it, we say oh. the same, a mole. Yeah. Uh, he was a mole for the for oh, the, um, topo. the British army yeah, or whatever. Like a, yeah, like a spear. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. oh, a secret you. one, yeah? Sí. Well, I guess if you're a spear, you've got to be secret. If yes, not, you have to be. Yeah. Unless, I yeah, mean, secret spy would be... A bit redundant, oxymoron. yeah. Oxymoron. <laughs> no, no, it wouldn't be an oxymoron. No, not an oxymoron. The yeah, opposite, uh, it would be uh, yeah, um, redundant, yeah? Redundant, yeah, exactly. So, the way you can link mole, because you're going to learn mole today as well. You see, <laughs> there you are. We're, we're on, you know, we're two two verbs. But it's not a mole, like a mole you would have uh, on your skin. No, no. That's but, a lunar. So, you can imagine. Like moon. A, a mole bumps into stuff, as Cynthia says. So, a topar, a topo. Sí. Se topa, ¿eh? El topo se topa mm -hmm. contra la piedra, por mm -hmm. ejemplo. Sí. O topo, el topo topó contra la piedra. Ah, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Nice, nice way to remember. <laughs> so there you are, that's topar, ¿sí? So typically the way that we'll use it is the bumping into, typically. Okay, because that's the most common usage of it. Because if not, here in Spain, they tend to use chocar, if you want to talk about crashing into something yeah see sí, chocar okay and now and now a word from our sponsors 
Muchas gracias, Justin. Justin Shields. Justin sent me an email and said, I've, sent, I've left an audio. Try and guess where I'm from. So he hasn't told me where he's from. However, I think that his name isn't really Justin Shields. I think he might be from Shields, whether it's North Shields or South Shields, where I'm from. He might be a sand dancer. I can hear a tone there, although he's been, I think he's lived out of that place for a while. What do you call people from North Shields? Uh, people from North Shields. I don't know. They, they don't, I don't think they have a name. No? So uh, as far as I know, South Shields, sand dancers, but North Shields, I don't know. I've never seen anyone dancing on the sand. You haven't been there long enough. <laughs> You've got to at least spend 10 years to be able to see someone dancing. Uh, I've seen people dancing. Yeah. But not on this. On the sand. <laughs> With alcohol. Yeah. yeah, now they've done, they've done the front up on South Shield. So it's lovely. Oh, it's lovely. Oh, they've got it lovely. And they have uh, yeah. bands. E or ha. E or ha. It's lovely. It is. It's lovely. And, and and they've got bands playing there or and there lots of people are dancing on the sand right? so what we'd like to plug this week we're, honestly our marketing skills are terrible aren't they you know what we're pushing this week Indeed. anyway if this is a beginners podcast so we want to bring your attention to the subjunctive for beginners okay we produced this. It, it's actually, I, I did, I'm doing all of the videos. It's kind of like a... <laughs> it sounds like we produced the... Actually, I produced it. No, just, I don't want you to get excited. I don't want... Because I know Cynthia has a lot of fans, especially male ones. I know I know, I know oh, what's yes. going on. Oh, yes. I know. That's I read the comments. Actually, and Oh, Cynthia, this. you're so beautiful. <laughs> yeah. In fact, I'm going to... Can I give you a quote? Can I give you a quote? This is a quote that left my mouth hanging open and the person who said it knows who it was and I know who it was but I'm just going to tell you the quote he said it with the nicest of intentions but he said you know if somebody was to ask me do you want to have Cynthia as a young 21 year old or do you want to have her now I'd say I have her now who said that <laughs> I've never seen that comment, but thank gonna... you. <laughs> but I've never seen that comment. I was thinking, you could have worded that any other way. <laughs> I'll have an hour, please. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can have me. I'm here. So the reason I said I do it is just so you don't, you know, it's not false advertising that Cynthia isn't in it, okay? It's just me doing the subjunctive. But... Okay, okay. And it's a lovely course for beginners. It only stays with present tense and with the the abed tense. It doesn't go into the past. And I just talk you through it step by step and how you can get the, the subjunctive into your spoken Spanish. If you don't start a beginner when you're starting to get habits, what happens with the, with the subjunctive? No, I, I would recommend to start as soon as you can. Obviously, not at the very, very, very no, beginning. Not, not, not like beginner, beginner. The moment no. you start... But once you start to feel a little bit comfortable with the language and you start to work out more or less where things go, don't wait any longer because then you create bad habits of yeah. how to say things. Yeah. Or you get more, you get confused. Why subjunctive? And then yeah, it's, e it's better and easier to start earlier on. Mm -hmm. Then you'll go through a phase of everything is subjunctive. That happens to everyone. Everything is subjunctive all of a sudden. And then you calm down. And then you start to put everything in place. Yeah, you get subjunctivitis. Yes, true. Everything it's is true. subjunctive, yeah. <laughs> so um, it's available. I'll put the link down in the in the description. And it's also on our website. If you want to ever look in what we've got available, you just go on store and, and you'll see everything. So okay. you, you're there alone advertising your, your own yeah. product. Move back. <laughs> yeah, this is my bit. Uh, anyway... <laughs> But Move, hey, it's in this, yeah. <laughs> <way. laughs> Ay, eres. Vale, entonces, eso es todo, chicos. Muchísimas gracias por haber pasado un ratito con nosotros. Sí. Muchas gracias, Cintia, por, A ti. por ser nativa. <laughs> Joder, gracias, Gordon. <laughs> por no ser <serlo. laughs> no poder explicar esto. Ha sido mi plato. <laughs> Ay, ay, ay. Entonces, ahora, 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 
más porque estaba haciendo jaja ja. ya salí ha salido la h ¿eh? la h muda ha salido la h muda es de ahora ahora ay, ay. nos vamos y nos vemos hasta luego adiós, adiós. Estaba haciendo jajaja ja, ja, y ahora... Voy a decir, thank you for being not native. You're welcome. Ahora... Para, like, para I'll, rematar. I'll do an accent that gives away that I'm definitely not native. Pues, pues, muchísimas gracias. Ahora... Oh. Like, like, The chip is a hoy, que no tengo que ahora. Ay, gordo. Oh, oh, estoy sudando ya. Ay, de verdad.